Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. Now, I love this game very much, but I want to play something else. This game has lasted forever, so let's flibbity flabbity get on with it. Who are you? Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. Da I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your nah, pieces. Nah, nah, so away awesome. with you. You! Done, back with good news. I've done something. You want your share now. Yeah. I handle the... If yep. you don't like that kind good. of work, talk to Delvin. Give it. One of the quickest way... If you're interested... What do you say? I don't know what that job is, but I'll do it. All right. Take this and get out of here. Thanks. You. Something you need. Anything for the guild. Actually, <clears throat> I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, aren't you? I are. So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, the business, of course. What kind of business? You want to drink ketchup? Anyway, uh, what can you tell me about this? For Daisy. Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Ooh. Specially crafted for each member who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Um. Why did you stop talking? Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Okay. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. I lead this guild! Delvin, apparently I still need you. So, what can I do for you today? Oh. Ah, oh, you're back. Managed to recover an eye of the Falmer. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. Have it. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. By the eight, you actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. 3,200 gold? That is a sad lifetime. Okay, that's cool. No kill. Do I have anything else I need to do while I'm here? Well, that's just going to be there forever, and that will annoy me. <clears throat> no, no pay. Remember that. Yeah, no killing or no pay. You have no idea, no, no idea how many people I killed on the actual Thieves Guild questline, and I got all the money I could eat. I'm going to go out the system way, because it's actually quicker than traipsing through the shibbity do. And I can confirm that no one here... Oh, when did we get that? Lovely. Knowing me, that's probably always been there. Interest you in some marksman training. Nope. I'm the best that I could possibly be. Aren't you jealous? <clears throat> the Black Briars of Riften are indeed one of the most influential and well-connected clans in Skyrim. This is true. Thank you for telling me that loading screen. Also, right, let's have a look. Um, the sweep job. Bowley's house is in Riften. Do I really want to do that right now? My gut tells me that I do not want to do that right now. We are going back to Astrid. Do do do. Can I first travel from here, I wonder? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I have recently had a cold. I'm basically mended, but there will be the odd bit of oh crap. The Dark Brotherhood was once boomed by a set of rules called the Five... Yes, I remember these five tenets, except I don't remember the five tenets. Hang on, is that one, two, two? One, two, two, five, and five. Did anyone else see that? I'm sure I saw that. Um, ha, who needs sleep? Asteroid, I have good news. I have amazing news. News the likes of which you have never seen. News for your blues. News to put in your shoes. News you can use. I've got something to tell you, is the general gist. Well, what did Mallory have to say? 
Is the amulet authentic? Yes, and specifically made for members of the Eldor Council. The Elder Council? Eldor Council. Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Despair. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He was. Here is a letter. A letter? Here's a letter of credit, lady. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Yar. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. What? After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Yes, I am. Goodbye, Sithis. I hope I'm making the right choice here. You may be an effective killer, but your command of guile leaves much to be desired. I don't even know the what that means. The letter you delivered to me was mysteriously unsealed upon its arrival. I can only assume you've read its contents. Sloppy. But moving on to business. As you probably already know from reading the letter, you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Oh! Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Okay! Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Romance? I'm the one who pronounces things strangely round here, lady. Your target's name is Vittoria Vici. <gasps> She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go. And give the city of solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. I'll do it. Represent us well, brother. I'll do it. You know, I haven't slept in quite a while now, but I've got to go to a wedding. Exciting. Ooh, I'll put on my gown and get my Jimmy shoes on. I don't know what Jimmy shoes are, but I'm putting them on. Okay. Pardon me. What's this? That's white run. That's not what we want. We want solitude. Oh my god, what the Go to Mel pick up the item. What is this madness? Anyway, to solitude. If you have to see me perform some minor deeds, then so be it. <sighs> come on, come on. I am itching for Heartbreak and murder and murderous heartbreak and heartbreaking murder. Okay. Is my thingy okay? Where's the lady I guts to kill? Kill Vittoria Vici. Guess we'll do that first. And we'll quick save it because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. Be careful. Good. I mean, my fiance has done this quest, but I wasn't paying too much attention. I think I was, um. I don't know, not paying attention at the time. I can't make this jump, can I? Ah, no! It would have been badass. They're reforming the Dawn God. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Nothing. How romantic. Oh, I know enough. I know those troublemaking stormcloaks refuse to submit to imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason. And when the elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion, huh? Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exactly. 
my nephew, the Emperor, too busy to attend the wedding of his beloved cousin. We won't stand for this slight, I assure you. Okay. I need to figure out a way to get up there, I do believe. This wedding is boring. I wish they had jugglers. Crusty jugglers. Okay. I, this is probably just going to get me stuck in a temple looking like a turnip. But, on the off chance that it doesn't... Hey. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? You will keep your mouth shut. I suspect I'm going to look like a turnip. We'll find out. I'm cleaning a glass. I'm cleaning a glass. Look at me go. I'm cleaning a glass. Ha ha ha. Oh. There we go. It's quite a late wedding, isn't it? This is the least romantic wedding ever. There's people training for war right outside. Are you addressing your guests? Are there even any guests here? I think it's about to happen. Oh my... Oh well, I can still sort of manage this. Where are they gone? What the... What kind of wedding is this? I still think my boy should have had a wedding. Outside, cool mountain air. Victoria may be pretty, but does she have the right hips for the job? I want grandchildren. Ooh. Well, I'm just gonna reload this because it's all gets. Just... I don't. What? She wandered away, teleported. Someone's telling me about hips. It's you, Pantia. You're you really distracting with your dumb. D Is this really what passes for bards these days? Someone just going dumb. Is that? I have half a mind to kill you as well. Okay, there we go. They're moving now. Stop talking about bums. This is a wedding, for God's sake. A really depressing wedding. Like, really horrible. Ah. Honored guests. Are you all enjoying yourselves? This wedding sucks and you deserve to die for it. <laughs> Victoria, no! Oh, okay, oh. Hey, whoa now. Alright, alright, okay, okay. Uh. Yes, people, this is going to take me a little while. Mm, I wonder if I push it and then use my invisibility spell. Will everything be fine? I'll prep it. I'll get it ready. Powers. So... Quick serve. I hate you so much, Pantia. To think I got you your flute back. Why aren't you playing your flute? I got you your flute. This is just laziness. If anyone like you sings at my wedding,